lady pay for my grocery. Hey guys, so I just went to the grocery store, one that I don't normally go to, Jesco in American Village. And so I picked up this stuff, like random stuff. I picked up water, picked up three things of bacon. Adam wanted pasta and I was like, why? I picked up this rice cheese, um, like microwavable bowl. Some frozen cilantro here. Uh, I think this is yogurt milk. And then I picked up apple tea or yeah, apple juice, eggs. And I told you guys bacon and Adam randomly picked up this ham. And this is our bacon. And of these because they were on sale for 30% off. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting a great deal right now. And then also some white grapefruit 100% white grapefruit so what I picked up at the store and this was this was such a random little visit to this store because I I have a grocery store like literally two minutes from my house okay and so I decided okay I want to go down the hill around the bend to a grocery store that's like seven minutes away from my house so something just told me go to this grocery store so I was like okay I'll go there and check for what I wanted because Jordan wanted me to make muffins and I was going to see if this bigger store had muffin tins because I don't have them yet because this is the first time I have an oven in my house right and I went to the store Adam's being super nice and this lady paid for my groceries uh we were in the store we saw her first like walking through one of the aisles and and I was like yeah daddy needs water and then the lady was like yeah get your daddy water and so I was like oh good morning how are you you know and Adam was like hi you know saying hi to everybody giving the other ladies high fives and just saying ohio gazimas to everybody he sees so long story short we get to the front of the counter we're about to pay i'm like i don't care how much my groceries are here's 50 bucks to the lady i put it out already and then they start handing me a card and i'm like oh is this lady having trouble with translating or something um that's not my card that i think it's that lady's card and the late and the cashier was like your friend want to pay and I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, I want to pay for your for your stuff. You guys are super nice. And I just want to pay it forward with all, this, with all the social distancing going on in America right now and all the isolation. She was like, I just want to pay it forward. She was like, I'm so sick of what I'm seeing all over social media, all over everywhere, all over the news, that I just want to have a little peace inside of me knowing that I, I pay for someone's groceries, that I help someone. And I was like, oh my gosh. And so I... I mean, it's kind of rude to say no, you know, I said no, but she kept insisting to pay for it. So I was like, wow, that's so nice. And so we ended up talking, we ended up exchanging numbers, well, through Facebook. <laughs> and um, I put a post on my Facebook about her because I just wanted to remember this day and I wanted to share this lady being a light in darkness right now. And... After that, she had some bread that she needed to pay for at the bakery and I paid for her bread, but that was nothing compared to my groceries. Like my groceries probably like 30 something bucks because I was just picking up randomness. Um, but that was super nice. I hope she's blessed today. Her name is Amy. And if you are watching this and you're thinking about, my kids are screaming and yelling, thinking about paying for someone's groceries or just the person in front of you, if you're at Chick-fil-A, if you can even go to Chick-fil-A right now, just pay it forward, pay for someone's stuff, it will bless them. So just wanted to share that and I hope you guys are having a good day.